Hey, it's Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. And today we have another installment of our test ride series. That's where we get the gear out of the studio. We get you that real world in the saddle feedback. Now, this episode is a follow up to our recent racing helmet shootout. It was a three way challenge between the Shoei X15, the HJC Arfa 1N, and the next XR3R. We're gonna put a link to that video in case you haven't seen it in the description below. But what you should know is that the Shoei X15 crammed all of those helmets. So currently it sits on top of our podium. Now after that, we decided it would be a great idea to put up Japan's best against the best from Italy. This is the AGV Pista GPRR and a very formidable opponent to the new Shoei X15. Now, before we jump into the video, I'm going to throw a few shameless plugs at you. If you want to support us here at Speed Addicts, you could do so by simply shopping with us. Now, we're going to have links to both of these helmets in the description. They'll take you right over to Speed Addicts if you want to purchase an AGV or a Shoei. We would love it if you could support us there. And remember, when you're shopping for helmets online, we do make it extremely easy with our no cost returns program. If you run into any fitment issues or you just decide something's not for you, you're gonna get a free return label. We don't nick one dime you like those other guys and get the helmet back to us, get a different size, get a different color. Just make sure to qualify you live in the lower 48 states and the helmet's brand new in the original condition. Okay, I'm done. Let's get out to the track with our team test pilot. Here we go. Hey, Speed X TV family. Welcome to another episode of Versus. On the left, we have the reigning champ, winner of the 2023 racing helmet shootout, Shoei and its Japanese-made X15. On the right, we have the Italian-made AGV Pista GPRR helmet. Both of these helmets are at the top of the range of the respective manufacturer. They're designed for all of you racers and or track day riders out there who want to go fast. Let's begin with price. The X15 retails for $900 in solid colorways. Graphics begin at $1,000. The Pista GPRR, on the other hand, can cost up to $1,800, depending on which limited edition colorway you get. Accessory visors are also nearly double the price with AGV, and it doesn't offer the X15's photochromatic transitions face shield, which allows you to ride day and night. Let's talk construction. The X15 has a composite construction while the AGV offers full carbon fiber. 3.65 pound in size small for the X15, where the Pista GPRR weighs in at 3.2 pound in size medium small. Both helmets offer four shell sizes, which we'll talk about on track. In terms of safety ratings, Shoei offers all of them, DOT, Snell, ECE, and FIM. AGV, on the other hand, has all of those except for the Snell test. All right, folks, enough talking about these two great helmets. Let's put them head to head at the racetrack. Hey, what's up, Speed Alex TV family? Welcome to part two of our 2023 racing helmet shootout. This episode pits Shoei's X15 versus AGV's Pista GPRR helmet, which we are wearing right now. We're riding our 2023 MT10 Yamaha naked bike here at Sonoma Raceway. Now, right away, starting with price, these Pista GPRR helmets are expensive, ranging up to $1,800. This Futuro colorway is right around $1,400, if you can find one, it's limited edition. Now, this GPRR helmet weighs 3.2 pounds versus Shoei's, which weighs in at 3.65 pounds. You really feel how light this helmet is when you pick it up and put it on your helmet. We love light helmets. Score for AGV. Now, the viewport on this helmet, wow. The peripheral vision on this piece to GPRR is downright excellent. It's almost like you have panorama vision. The, the visor is just so wide. Conversely, however, the visor, while it does have good, deep, tall vision, the visor nice and tall right here, it's not quite as tall as the X15. Still, the viewport on this helmet is excellent. We're gonna score that a draw. 
ventilation on this piece to GPRR. AGV really upped the game in terms of ventilation with its original GPR. And now with this GPRR helmet, these helmets, they flow a lot of air. It's worth mentioning the top vents, they're fixed always open. If you want them to be closed, you have to put a plug in them, which is kind of goofy. We like the adjustability of Shoei's X15. But in terms of outright ventilation, Shoei's have always historically dragged behind the competition in terms of pure ventilation ability. Not anymore. While this piece to GPRR pushes a lot of air, the X15 pushes even more air. We're blown away, literally, by how effective the X15 ventilates, even compared to an excellent ventilating helmet like this piece of GPRR. Another score for Shoei. Now, in terms of fit, this piece of GPRR, we talked about how it has improved fit compared to its predecessor. And while the fit on this helmet is good, and it has a good degree of customization, it doesn't fit quite as well as an X15. It's worth mentioning that AGV match is showing in terms of unique shell sizes. We're wearing a medium small helmet, which gets its own shell, as does extra small and small, medium large and large, and extra large and 2XL get their own shell with this piece to GPRR. AGV uses a little bit of a peculiar sizing strategy with its medium small and medium large helmets but once you get the fit down the fit is actually very nice and we like the ability to customize fit with the extra material that's included in the box and the headliner with the velcro attachment so you can move the position of it still it's not quite as customizable as the x15 another score for showy now the visor mechanism on this helmet, both helmets use a center locking visor. Center locking visors aren't my favorite. I'd really ha rather have the off center locking detent. This helmet is either open or closed. There's no detent adjustability. The seal on both helmets is pretty good. The actual seal seal's good, but Shoei has a better Deaton system. The shield removal system is also better on the Shoei. Yes, both systems are toolless, which we like, but the X15's face shield mechanism is just more robust. We also like that the face shields on the X15 are less expensive. AGV visors are nearly double the cost, and they don't offer a transitions photochromatic face shield option. Another, another score for Shoei. In terms of noise. Now, this piece of GPRR, it's, it is a fairly noisy helmet. It's not as noisy as other helmets we've ridden in, but it's certainly nowhere as quiet as an X15. Whenever we're operating our motorcycles, we're always wearing Honeywell earplugs. But even with the Honeywell earplugs, we can still feel the rush of air by our ears. So the X15 is quieter. The X15 also includes deeper recessed pockets for your ears, which are compatible with Bluetooth enabled communication devices. I know this is a track helmet, so no one's gonna be doing Bluetooth, but still it's nice to know that you could if you wanted to. Another score for Shoei. Now construction of these helmets this carbon fiber helmet of this AGV, it looks awesome. It is a very aesthetically pleasing helmet and the build quality is much improved from previous iterations of AGV. The only problem is these Japanese made X15s are at the pinnacle of craftsmanship. The fit and finish of an X15, yes, it doesn't use a carbon fiber construction, but the fit and finish is superior to these Italian made HD AGV helmets. Another score for Shoei. Now it's neat that this piece to GPRR does come with hydration too. So you can theoretically connect it to a water bladder and drink water while you're doing business at the racing track. 
Shomi also offers that, but it's an accessory. The piece that GPR includes that very nice score for AGV. Warranty. This helmet only comes with a one year warranty. Shoei offers five times the warranty period with a five year warranty. Another score for Shoei. In terms of aerodynamics, we're not riding an especially fast racetrack. The speeds here are pretty low. So it's really hard to gauge the aerodynamic efficiency of either lead. Both helmets are great. They cut through the air very well. This helmet being a little bit lighter, it's gonna reduce fatigue on the neck. But if we had to pick one, we'd have to say it's draw. But again, this isn't a very high speed circuit. If we rode somewhere that was faster, I'm sure we would be able to tell a difference between the helmets. But here at Sonoma Raceway, it's a draw. Overall, if you are looking for the finest helmet offering, it is showy with its X. 15 helmet. Yes, the AGV is lighter. Yes, the AGV is a little bit cooler looking with its carbon fiber construction. It isn't as well put together. It doesn't ventilate quite as well. It's a lot more expensive and the fit isn't nearly as bespoke as the X15. Well, folks, that wraps up part two of our 2023 racing helmet shootout as always make sure to subscribe to the speed addicts tv youtube channel if you want to see the latest greatest motorcycle parts and gear and we'll see you in the next episode of speed Addicts tv